Hello, everyone. Sue Anaschek here for the continuation of the workbook of A Course of Miracles. And uh, today we're on lesson 37. So today's lesson is My Holiness Blesses the World. This idea contains the first glimmerings of your true function in the world or why you are here. Your purpose is to see the world through your own holiness. Thus, are you and the world blessed together? No one loses. Nothing is taking, taken away from anyone. Everyone gains through your holy vision. It signifies the end of sacrifice because it offers everyone his full due. And he is entitled to everything because it is his birthright as a son of God. There is no other way in which the idea of sacrifice can be removed from the world's thinking. Any other way of seeing will inevitably demand payment of someone or something. As a result, the perceiver will lose, nor will you have any idea why he is losing, nor will he have any idea why he is losing. Yet in his wholeness, yet is his wholeness restored to his awareness through your vision. Your holiness blesses him by asking nothing of him. Those who see themselves as whole make no demands. Your holiness is the, sac is the salvation of the world. It lets you teach the world that it is one with you, not by preaching it to it, not by telling it anything, but merely by your quiet recognition that in your holiness, are all things blessed along with you. Today's four longer practice periods, each to involve three to five minutes of practice. Begin with the repetition of the idea for today, followed by a minute or so of looking about you as you apply the idea to whatever you see. My holiness blesses this chair. My holiness blesses this window. My holiness blesses this body. Then close your eyes and apply the idea to any person who occurs to you using their name and saying, my holiness blesses you, Mary. You may continue the practice period with your eyes closed. You may open your eyes again and apply the idea for today to your outer world if you so desire. You may alternate between applying the idea to what you see around you and to those who are in your thoughts, or you may use any combination of these two phases of application that you prefer. The practice period should conclude with a repetition of the idea with your eyes closed and another following immediately with your eyes open. The shorter, Exercise, exercises consist of repeating the idea as often as you can. It is particularly helpful to apply it silently to anyone you meet using his or her name as you do so. It is essential to use the idea if anyone, anyone seems to cause an adverse reaction in you. Offer him the blessing of your holiness immediately that you may learn to keep it in your own awareness. So practicing this lesson is assisting in acknowledging our holiness. You know, that again, that we may see the holiness in everyone and everywhere. Now, this holiness is seen through the Christ mind. Um, it is seeing beyond form, seeing the light and the love in the oneness, in the oneness that we are. 
you know, we're, we're not separate from this light and love. We are light and love. We are innocent in the eyes of God. It is just that we believe that we are separate from God. As we bless another, we bless ourselves. So the way to have what we want is, is to give it away. So holiness, the holy self, the divine self that we are is within us. It is, again, it is who we are. We just forget. So if we're not aware of this, you know, of this, this holiness that we are, uh, you know, the holy self, it's because we have separated uh, from ourselves, from our holy self. Again, it's because we believe we are separate from God. So relax in your holiness today as you practice this lesson. And um, I look forward to seeing you in uh, the next video and which will be lesson 38 already. Have a miracle filled day and look forward to being with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.